In this video, we'll be looking at atomic species. Let's start by defining some terms. Molecule. What is a molecule? Molecule is the smallest particle of a substance that is capable of independent existence and retains the chemical properties of that substance, e.g. hydrogen gas, oxygen gas, nitrogen gas, etc. Now, the form in which hydrogen gas can stay and still retain the chemical property of hydrogen is two atoms, that is H2, same as oxygen, nitrogen, and more. What is an element? An element is a pure substance that cannot be split into two or more forms by any chemical means. That means it cannot be split into a more different form by any chemical means. Example, magnesium, hydrogen, zinc, etc. Relative atomic mass. What is relative atomic mass? Relative atomic mass of an element is the number of times the average mass of that atom of the element is heavier than one twelfth of the mass of carbon 12 and is given as relative atomic mass equal to average mass of one atom of the element over one twelfth mass of one atom of carbon. Atomic number. Atomic number is defined as number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. Atomic number is also equal to the number of electrons in a neutral atom. A neutral atom is an atom that neither gain nor lose electron. That is an atom without charge. Mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons of an atom. Mass number is defined as the sum of the number of protons and number of neutrons of an atom. And mass number is also known as nucleon. The neutron number is equal to mass number minus proton number. The atom of an element S can be represented as this, where A, the superscript, is the atomic mass or the mass number, and the Z is the atomic number. Anions are atoms or molecules which has gained electron, that is, negatively charged species. Example, fluorine ion, oxygen ion, hydrogen ion, etc. Cat ion, the opposite of anions, are atoms or molecules which has lost electrons. That is, they are positively charged. Examples, sodium ion, magnesium ion, etc. Problems on atomic number, mass number, electron and neutron number. Identify the mass number and proton number of the following atom. Carbon, sodium, and calcium. Solution. Record the representation of an atom of an element S, where A is the mass number and Z is the atomic number. For I, the mass number equal to 12. Why the atomic number equal to 6, which is equal to the proton number. For II, atomic number equal to 11, which is equal to the proton number, and the mass number equal to 23. III, atomic number equal to 20, which is equal to the proton, and the mass number equal to 40. Number 2, find the mass number of the following atom having I. 23 proton and 14 neutron. I, I, 10 proton and 13 neutron. Solution. Mass number equal to proton number plus neutron. Mass number will be equal to 23 plus 14, which is equal to 37. That is for I. I, I, mass number equal to 10 plus 13, which is equal to 23. Number 3. Find the number of electrons, proton, and neutron for the following species. I. Chlorine ion. I. I. Magnesium ion. I. 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 Copper 2 plus. I. V. Ion metal. V. Sodium metal. And V. I. Sodium ion. Solution. Chlorine ion has atomic number of 20 and mass number of 40. So, from the periodic table, you can get this value. The atomic number for chlorine is 20 and the mass number is 40. So, atomic number equals number of proton. 
So if the atomic number is 20, that means proton number will equal to 20. Now this chlorine is gaining one electron. That is why it's minus. This is an anion. So for the 20 neutral electron, it's gaining one more. So this should be 21 electron in total. Why the neutral number is the mass number minus the proton number. So it should be 40 minus 20. 40 minus 20, that is equal to 20. I, I, magnesium ion. Mass number equal to 24. Proton number is equal to 12. Can get this from the periodic table. The mass number for magnesium is 24. Why the atomic number is 12. And the atomic number is equal to proton number. So this magnesium is losing two electrons. That is why it's two plus. So out of the 12 neutral electron, two is going out. So it will have 10 remaining. Why the neutron is the mass number minus proton number. So this is 24 minus 12, which gives us 12 neutron. Copper 2 plus. Mass number of copper is 64. The atomic number, which is equal to the proton number, is equal to 29. So you can get this from the periodic table. Now this copper is losing 2 electrons. So out of the 29, the electron will be 12 for copper 2 plus. The neutron number is the mass number minus proton number. That is 64 minus 29, which gives us 35. For ion metal, mass number equal to 56. The atomic number, which is equal to the proton number, equal to 26. Then electron, since the ion metal doesn't have any charge, the proton will be equal to the electron, which is equal to 26 as well. While the neutron is the mass number minus proton number. So this is 56 minus 26, which gives us 30 neutron. For sodium metal, the mass number of sodium is 23. Proton number is 11. This sodium is a neutral atom. So the proton number equals electron number. So proton equals 11. Electron will be equal to 11 as well. Why the neutron is the mass number minus proton number. So this is 23 minus 11, which gives us 12. For sodium ion, mass number of sodium is 23. Proton number is 11. Electron is 10. So this sodium ion is losing one electron. That is for out of the 11 supposed neutral electron, one is lost. So this will be 10. So the electron is equal to 10. While the neutron is mass number minus proton number, which is 23 minus 11. And this is equal to 12. Atomic species. This table below gives the summary of atomic species. The first one we have here is isotopes. Similarities, they have the same atomic number or proton number and same chemical properties. Differences, they differ in their mass number, neutron number and physical properties. So isotopes are defined as atoms having the same atomic number but different mass number and the concept is isotopy. Example, we have hydrogen 1, 2 and 3. The first one is the protium, second one is deuterium, third one is tritium. So these are the isotopes of hydrogen. As you can see, their superscripts are different. That is their mass number and their subscripts are the same, which is the atomic number. Now, second one we have is chlorine 35 and 37, having the same atomic number but different mass number. Third one is oxygen 16, 17 and 18. Having the same atomic number but different mass number. Isobars. Isobars, the similarities, they have the same mass number or nuclear number. Differences, they define the atomic number, electron, and neutron number, and also chemical properties. Example, argon 18, potassium, and calcium. As you can see, their superscripts are the same, like the same mass number but different atomic number. The third Special we have here is the isotones. They have the same number of neutrons, but they differ in the mass number, electron number, proton number, chemical and physical property. Example is potassium and calcium. They have the same neutron. If you check the difference between 39 and 19, 40 and 20, it's the same thing. That means they have the same neutron. Second one is calcium and nitrogen. They also have the same neutron. Calculations on isotopes. 
the formula is giving us relative atomic mass is equal to summation of mass of isotope times percentage abundance over 100. Let's take example. Example 1. Magnesium has three isotopes, magnesium 24, magnesium 25, and magnesium 26. The percentage of each in order is 78.7%. 10.13% and 11.17% respectively. Calculate the relative atomic mass of the magnesium. Solution. Recall our formula. is given us relative atomic mass equal to summation of mass of ISO2 times percentage abundance over 100. So for the first one, we take the mass which is 24 times the percentage over 100. So this is 24 times 78.7 over 100 plus 25 times 10.13 over 100. That's for the second one. The mass is 25 and the percentage is 10. The third one is 26. 26 times 11. Point, 26 times 11.17 over 100. Now let's add up. This gives us 1888.8 over 100 for the first one plus 253.15 over 100 plus 304.2 over 100. So adding up, we have 2446.15 over 100. To divide, we have 24.46 gram per mole. So the relative atomic mass of magnesium is 24.46 gram per mole. Example 2. Copper is listed on the periodic table as having a relative atomic mass of 63.55. Reference books indicate two isotopes of copper with relative abundance mass of 62.93 and 64.93. Find the percentage of each isotopes. Solution. Recall our formula. Relative atomic mass equal to summation of mass of isotope times percentage abundance all over 100. So let the percentage abundance of one of the isotopes be y, while the other will be 100 minus y. Since we are having two isotopes, if one is y, the other will be 100 minus y. Because percentage is usually 100. So the summation of the abundance is 100. So from our formula, our mass number or relative atomic mass is 63.55. So 63.55 will be equal to the first mass, that is 62.93 times percentage abundance, which is y. So we have 62.93 times y over 100 plus 64.93 times the second ab percentage abundance, 100 minus y over 100. So you have 63.55 equal to 62.93 times y plus expanding this bracket, you have 6,493 minus 64.93 y over 100. So we cross multiply. We have 6,355 equal to minus 2y so 62.93y minus 64.93y give us minus 2y collecting like terms 2y equal to 138 so we divide by 2 y equal to 69 so the percentage abundance of one of the mass is 69 and the mass is one of 62.93 so therefore the isotope mass of 62.93 has 69 percent abundance why the order will be 100 minus 69 that is that's so one so the the percentage of the percentage abundance of the mass of 64.93 equal to 31 percent thanks for watching please make sure you subscribe and you can check my channel for other interesting video thank you